Now, Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis with the Miami Valley's certified most accurate forecast. And we're still tracking some showers out there this evening, but they'll be ending as we get to, uh, well, around the time frame from 6 to 8. Well, actually from 8 to about 10 p.m. tonight. And then later tonight, some areas of fog and low clouds expected to form. That'll be late night and into Friday morning, so that could impact your morning commute. Uh, dry weather, though, for Friday. We'll see a lot more sunshine as we get to late morning and into the afternoon hours on Friday. And then a warm weekend in September, start October. Daytime highs low 80s and it looks like a warm first week of October, although maybe some changes towards next weekend. Here's your evening forecast 69 at 7 o'clock. We'll have some of those scattered showers, but showers winding down at 9 o'clock 66 and 64 at 11 p.m. We could even briefly go to partly cloudy skies for a while this evening, but then some low clouds fog will form late tonight, so 60 at 8 o'clock with some of that fog to start the day. 69 at noon as the uh, fog and low clouds break up, and then 77 at 5 p.m. with partly sunny skies. You're checking out live Doppler 2 HD. Some scattered showers northwest of us into Mercer County, also into Dark County, right around Sydney, especially on the north side there, uh, looking at some showers and north of Bell Fountain, southeast of Indian Lake, a little bit of rain too. Urbana, you're seeing some light showers with heavier showers right along the uh, Clark and also Champaign County border. And there's a heavier cell east side of Dayton, and that's moving over toward Beaver Creek and Fairborn now. And another cell popping up just south of Brookville, and that's dropping uh, southeast towards US 35. So hit miss showers this evening. Can't completely rule out a lightning strike, but uh, thunder not real likely here. And as the sun sets, even becoming uh, less likely as this low pressure center tracks eastward tonight. As it moves away, we get back to dry weather then for Friday and the weekend. We'll see temperatures easing on down towards 61 late tonight, 5, 6 in the morning with highs tomorrow, low to mid 70s north and the southern half of the Miami Valley, uh, mostly in the upper 70s, 78 Dayton, 77 Eaton and over toward Richmond. And then Saturday afternoon, mid to upper 70s north, upper 70s to about 80 over the southern half of the region. We're starting to get some changing fall color now. Indian Lake, John Bryan, Houston Woods, Caesar Creek. So may want to have a little bit of a fall hike this weekend. Uh, take a look at some of the color. Jeff Schmidt, auto auction camera, partly cloudy skies out there right now. We're at 70 degrees, the south, southwest wind at 3. Dew point 61, a little bit sticky out there. Evening showers tonight, otherwise mostly cloudy. We'll see some fog, low clouds develop later tonight and after some morning fog and low clouds tomorrow, partly sunny in the afternoon and warmer. And it warms up over the weekend, highs low 80s, lows mid to upper 50s, and then upper 50s for nighttime lows Monday through Thursday, highs low to mid 80s. Still warm into Thursday, but a low chance of a shower or thunderstorm. That's with an approaching cold front may bring some changes in those temperatures by next weekend.